Hi, everybody. My name is Danica Joan with my co-host, Bud Vino, and this is the New Year's edition of Custody Matters Live. Welcome, Bud. It's good to see you again. Danica, Danica, January 1st, dare I say, Danica, 2020. Oh, my goodness. Happy New Year, my friend. And I know we're both very excited. We talked before the show, and we're going to talk after the show. We're going to talk throughout the year. Uh, and this year, more than I think ever before, we talked about how thankful we both are and how excited we both are for the future. So January 1st, 2020, so excited to say it. She's got her belt. She didn't have her, her bangs. Or what would you call those poppers? Yeah. Um, but, but she's got her bell. We're very thankful. 7.30 uh, Eastern Standard Time. We're coming at you. And Danica, Happy New Year, my friend. Happy New Year. It really, oh, there's, there's so much coming in. The last few weeks we've talked about what's happening in, two, in 2020. And it's like we've, we have jumped on a moving train and there's just so many amazing things happening. But before we talk about what's, what's happening in 2020, I, I wanted to kind of discuss what we accomplished in 2019. So um, we had the show Custody Matters Live started a little over a year ago. It was actually in 2018 that I started it, probably halfway into the year. And we, <clears throat> I was kind of doing it on my own, but I am just not a lone wolf. I kind of love, I love collaboration. So uh, when I interviewed Dr. Mark Roseman on it, he was like, he got so excited and he says, let's do it again. So for quite a few months, him and I kind of collaborated and we were sort of co-hosts on Custody Matters Live. And he has since spun off and he's doing his own video projects, which I'm thrilled about because he is just, he's a man on a mission as well. Um, in fact, I would say all, everybody who's been on the show or has co-hosted the show is, are people who have been am, impacted by high conflict custody situations. And so our heart is about the mission of making, of giving you uh, support and empowerment to, to make your life better with your situation, with your custody matters situation. Let's see, the other uh, host we've had is Wendy Perry, and she's been amazing. She's up to huge things in, in Texas, in Dallas, Texas area. And, um, and of course she had her, she had eye surgery that had her have to slow down some of her, her work, but, um, you know, never fear. She is constantly on the move. And as soon as she gets 100%, I guarantee she'll come back with 110% uh, with her advocacy work. So I wanted to talk, and then of course, Bud Vino. Um, yeah. I'm so happy to have you. You know, there's, there's one of the things that you bring to the table is that, that male balance, that male female uh, we bounce off each other well, and it's and the thing is, is custody matters affect um, men and women alike. It really, there is no, uh, it's not a gender conversation at all. So um, I, I, I'm sorry, Jenica. I, I I couldn't agree more. We we had conversations we've had, and we'll continue off here how this is a, a gender neutral issue, and it was important. I know for both of us um, that 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 mindset was was uh, carried through onto the show and, and we had that same sort of mentality because this is a uh, this is equally horrific for both genders and, and it affects both genders um, so it's important to not not make it a gender issue it's an issue of equality um, and, and and again for men and women that's what it's about and, and men and women deserve to be heard men and women deserve that equality we're all in this together we're no better um, we're just different sexes, but we both go through the same pain, the same hurt, the same struggles, and we both deserve the same amount of support. So That's absolutely. Right. Exactly. All right. So what I wanted to share with you is, are the different people who were on the show in 2019, and I'm sure I'm not going to get everybody, but I would, I do want to acknowledge uh, some of the people that we've had or, or the ones that I can remember. I had, we had Kenneth. Paschal. Paschal is, and he's the president of Alabama Family Rights Association. 
uh, and we have a mission for the current child custody laws in Alabama to uh, safeguard children by ensuring that they have involvement with both parents in their lives. We Amazing. had, um, now any of these stop me, uh, Bud, if you have like a personal connection with them so that we Kenneth, can- Kenneth, I, Kenneth yeah. I've interviewed before about a year and a half, two years ago. He's a, a great man, a mover and a shaker, somebody who's driven by passion. And, and, and honestly, that's someone, I'm glad you mentioned him. I, I, I actually believe now that you mentioned, I did know that you guys interviewed him. That's somebody, again, we may have again on in the future. Uh, someone who's actually got uh, feet on the ground is actually putting it out there. Kenneth is a great man. It's been a long time since I've talked to Kenneth, so we'll have to refresh that. Again, um, I, I want to, too, um, Danica, while you mentioned Wendy, I want to thank Wendy Perry. Um, she uh, it was really easy transition for me onto the show, and I thank you, too, Danica, and, and the awesome reception support that I've been shown um, behind the scenes and in public. It, it's been wonderful, and I, and I owe uh, Wendy a lot when it comes to that and also you. So, so for people that are coming onto the show, and again, we're going to get into more of the people that have been on the show, um, but we're going to, we're going to be, uh, I'm gonna, we're going to be carrying that legacy on from the past posts too. I'm going to, I'm carrying that torch uh, with pride. So awesome. Yes, yes, yes. I, you know, it's, um, yeah. Th uh, okay. So back into the swing of it. I got my, my thought, my train of thought. Just That's my fault. You can, you can <laughs> always blame me, Danica, because I'm the newest one. So remember that. When all else fails, it's Bud's fault. So it's going to oh. really work. Right. Okay. So let's see here. Nicholas Driesen. Driesen? Driesen. Yeah. Uh, yep. Okay. So he was raised in Iowa move, and he... He's with Families United Action Network. He was on oh. the show. Uh, mm -hmm. We also had Cal and Dexler. Now, he, uh, Wendy and I interviewed Cal. Uh, he also goes by Chris. And he was on our holiday special, which was awesome. And by the way, we are definitely going to bring some of these other ones, uh, people back on the show to have yeah. uh, 2020 interviews. So, um, and then a ginger, ginger Gentile, erasingfamily.org. She, that is a documentary that she, that's getting out. And, um, uh, and the thing to say, I want to say about that is the conference that we're creating in Central Florida on April the 24th, I'm uh, reaching out to Ginger to include the documentary into the lineup of the conference. So smart, smart move. I, I, as I had said on the Christmas show, first of all, again, I want to thank everybody. For, we had, we're pushing almost 4,000 views on that Christmas show. So uh, we're, and we hope that it helped people out there and empowered some people and brought some people up that might've been down that night. Uh, yeah, we had the Cal spin on. I hadn't known Cal until we interviewed him. That was wonderful. Ginger, I sent her a private message after the Christmas show too, because I had interviewed her on another show about a year, year and a half ago. And I said to her candidly, I said, Ginger, I, to say this admittedly I, I had forgotten how awesome that you are I know you are absolutely incredible I said so thank you for coming on it so that's an, another smart move there's, there's certain people in it we had Mark Ludwig on American people share parenting I know you were get to, you were going to get to him and, yes. and a, just a multitude of really amazing people and if you watch that Christmas show and I'll be honest I watched it again after and I got teared up and I sent Mark a message he'll, he'll know what I'm talking about very early a couple days after that um, because all of us on that show, the one thing that I'll mention, and I'll let you go, Danica, before I suck all the wind out of the show here. The one thing that we, the one thing that we all, after the show, all of us that were lucky enough to be on that panel, we were all so excited. It was palpable. I mean, it was, it was, when we were done that show, it was so genuine. We were so empowered. So for the people that are thanking us, thank you, and on a selfish level, um, it hit really perfectly where we wanted to hit and empowered the way we wanted to, to empower it was amazing, and it's going to get even better in 2020. Absolutely, absolutely. I am. I. It was an amazing. It was a magical show. Um, and from that, we're going to be interviewing um, Vicki Townsend uh, next week. <clears throat> so Vicki Townsend was on the panel. It was the first time I'd had her on the show, and and we had just. It was just great chemistry. She. What I really liked about Vicki was. <clears throat> excuse me, that she, 
she brings those experts in like all we're all these advocates and we're trying to make a difference in the court system make a difference in the legislature make a difference in the in the school systems but we don't have like Vicki brings the connection of these professionals because she's the founder of the National Association of Divorce Professionals. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. amazing. We can actually get speak to the people, the gatekeepers in, right. in all this. I'm super well, excited we were, about having her next week. We were as equally as excited. And the rare thing is, is when you and I actually interview someone that we neither one of us knows. And that was the wonderful thing about Vicky kind of coming on. And it was like, we've talked about things happening organically, you know, and then we're like, there's Vicky, there she is. It's working out perfectly. And we're so excited to have Vicky on. That's going to be a, an empowering show as well. And I think you're right. It's all about those connections, networking. Again, I mentioned the aforementioned Mark Ludwig, you know, he's big into networking. It's all making those connections because that's, as we've talked about before, when you put all those pieces together, that's how you get the ball really rolling in an unstoppable, unstoppable way, Dan. Yeah, I mean, it, it. I guess I've always my mission has always been to collaborate because I don't, I don't suppose that I'm the expert at everything. In fact, as an educator, I I would talk to fellow educators and I said, you know, we don't have to be experts at the subject matter. We just right. have to be experts at teaching the subject matter. Right. So that's kind of how I see my role is I I don't claim to be to have all the wisdoms and the expertise as Dr. Mark or Mark Ludwig or um, any of these people, but, or like Jennifer, Jennifer Harmon. Oh my gosh, we interviewed her this last year. She's great too. Yeah. Oh. Um, okay. So I'm going to, uh, I want to run just real quickly. See, we had Jaina Haney. We had Kelly Ingram. She's with Building Bridges Solutions. We had Crystal Shivers. Uh, she was a kid of uh, parental alienation. Uh, we had Sharon Kelly. She is all about co-parenting blended families. It, she, her organization um, educates and, and works with blended families. Speaking of blended families, we had, um, oh, maybe it's down here. Mm, Please to be down here. I've got his, the names of the people. Ron Deal. Ron Deal. Oh, yes. Ron Deal. We had I didn't watch interview. that show. I put Wonderful. him, I put some of his education on uh, smart step families in my co-parenting curriculum, along with Dr. Um, Jennifer Harmon's stuff, which her, her TED talk was amazing. Oh, and another person that was really funny, um, actually, Dan, Dr. Daniel Fox, brilliant. I went to a conference that Dwileen Lindsay cr uh, created called Children for Tomorrow out in Houston, she had Daniel Fox on. Oh my gosh, he was so funny. And, and he was able to, you could see the brilliance and the genius of, of what he had to offer, but because he delivered it in such a humorous way, you're like, ah, oh, I got it. And I laughed. Well, so. nah, there's, yeah, that's always, that's always important. I think, you know, I think all of us, uh, Mark Ludwig, Dr. Mark, they're very humble too. And I, I think they'll agree, and I know you will, is when you think you know everything, that's when it's over. For me, I'm always, um, I'm always uh, looking to learn. I'm, uh, you know, I, whenever you think you know everything, that's usually when you learn something. So I'm so always we, open for that. It's always someone that can really teach you something new, Danica. But did you notice that somebody, is, somebody has popped into our, our little studio? I haven't seen that yet. Who's here? Oh, we've see. got Vicki here. Vicki Townsend's oh, here. Vicki's here. Vicki, see, she's so excited. She's ready already. I'm, I'm impressed with her already. I don't see her. She, she now she disappeared. Well, yeah. Well, she's, she's, she's getting, she's, she's learning how to make an entry. <laughs> see, so she's building it up, and then all of a sudden, boom, she's gonna come on the scene. Um, all yeah, right. So, uh, but as, as you do that, I'll go over some things too, Danica, as you're, okay. as you're finding her, if you can. Um, in the upcoming year, I know we've talked about behind the scenes, the other guests we're going to have on. And for the folks out there that might, you know, want to share their story, feel free to email Custody Matters Live. Again, we, we have people that email us a lot. We have an itinerary, uh, which we go off. So we've got some bookings already, and we're going to be taking bookings. So 
And when you do send messages, don't uh, be offended. We, we go through them, and we have people that go through the messages too, um, and we will get to you one way or the other, um, at least to acknowledge it. So feel free. If you feel like you have a story or you want to be heard, feel free to send us a message and get on here. Absolutely. Yeah, it's weird. Um, I just want us to be able to bring our viewers as many resources as possible and to do it in a, an empowering context. That's like super important to have um, people empowered. And well, I, I, that, oh, I guess, uh, well, see, the thing, the thing I haven't really shared is I, I wanted Vicki, who's going to be on our show next week, to pop into this show to, um, to just well, say hi for a second. And um, it looks like she popped in, popped out. That's all right. We're going to keep on going. Let's yeah, she'll make an entrance. She'll make it. I think that's important. I want to piggyback what you just said, Danica, for the people out there. We're, we do, we filter through different um, options in terms of show ideas because, and as much as we know there's pain out there, we do want to keep it a platform for empowerment resource and not just a place uh, to vent frustrations because we not only look out for the show, but for the people that are in certain places out there, we look out for the people that it might not be advantageous for them to come on. And uh, in, in an emotional state of mind, uh, and, and kind of spell that out and hurt themselves in that way. So we cut, we we take it from a place of empowerment, um, and, and that's where we're going to keep it. Um, and, and I know Vicky's going to bring that next week too. And the shows already have brought that. And uh, again, I couldn't be more excited. I cannot believe that it's 2020, Danica. I know I've said that, but 2020. Can you believe it? Oh man. Oh, you know. Um. Okay. So one more person before we talk about 2020 is Jeffrey. Deskovich. Um, I interviewed him. He was at Florida Southern College. He happens to be, happened to be coming into my hometown and he ended up on my radar and I said, can I interview you? Well, Jeffrey was falsely um, convicted of a horrible crime, like, like rape and murder of, of a, a woman and in his home air, uh, town and, and stuff like that. And he spent several, I think 16 years in prison and now he is a lawyer. He what? And, and now he ex gets other falsely convicted uh, people, prisoners, uh, exonerated. That was huge. Now I get so. So you're thinking you might be thinking, how did that connect with with custody situations? Well, let me tell you, I know of several people who have been where people they've been falsely accused of domestic violence or or whatever next thing you know they're um going to jail and now their bitter ex actually uses it against them yeah. so and we've we've seen it uh multiple too many times danica and the worst mistake that you can ever make in this life is thinking that it can't happen to you uh because th the amount of, of of stories out there that it, it's almost overwhelming when you see the multitude of people that have experienced these sort of things. And somebody like Jeff, you have to take your hat off to because this is someone who's turning, you know, uh, garbage into gold. And that's what you have to do. You have to look at everything and say, okay, how can I spin this? Even at the most horrendous time, you have nothing. How in the world can I spin it? There's always a way. And that's when the momentum starts. If you stay stagnant, you die. So again, uh, it's people like Jeff and the other people that we've had on and will have on um, that keep us going. And keep That's the right. World okay, so 2020. 2020, what is, what's in store for us? One of it, I, I kind of talked to you a little bit about April 24th is Parental Alienation. Well, it's our conference in Central Florida for, um, that we're doing April 24th because April 25th is actually Parental Alienation Awareness Day. And what yeah. I usually do every year, starting in January, is I start asking the municipalities, the, 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 the different, the cities and the counties and stuff like that, if I can come and they can award, uh, they can declare it to be Parental Alienation Awareness Month. Uh, April in their hometown or their county and they're always so gracious uh, about presenting it and stuff like that and and it's just an opportunity to to get in front of a group of people get formally recognized in a city or a municipality um, so that 
we can just keep spreading the word because that's what it really is all about. This whole grassroots movement uh, of change have, has to happen, you know, just happens conversation by conversation. Speaking of conversations, guess who's here? Well, hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Good to Welcome. see you guys. Good to oh, see you too. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Oh. Oh, Vicky. Good to have you on, my friend. Welcome. I'm glad. I'm glad and honored to be here. Well, we I I told Bud that you might be popping in on our show, even though our show with you isn't until next week. But I figured, hey, this is a good opportunity to to let people know what's happening next week and to definitely stay tuned. Absolutely. Mm. So, what do you have planned? What do you have planned? Uh, well, I know what you have you're kind of in the works for, for, and I don't really want to take, uh, steal the thunder out of next week's show, but, oh, well, what the heck, we can talk about. What the heck? What the heck? Well, we are super, super excited about our conference, the National Association of Divorce Professionals. This will be an amazing national conference in Las Vegas, Nevada, for all of the licensed professionals that touch on the divorce process, whether it's through legal matters, and of which we all know there are some myriad of, of legal issues that, that couples have to untangle themselves from. There's uh, all of the money issues, the tax issues, the who gets what, and how they're gonna survive, and, and their their finances are going to be divided all of those people that deal with their mental health and well-being which you guys do and, and help families through what I call one of the worst things side effects of a bad divorce is parent alienation and custody issues and it's 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 so toxic and um, the impact, not only on just that family, but us as a nation, as a country, it impacts our lives, it impacts our economy, it impacts productivity. And if, when we can start to, maybe we don't have the conversations about how terrible it is for you know, the Jones family, and when people can understand that this impacts everyone, when a family is involved with parent alienation, that we want to help the, the professionals understand that so that they can help their clients go through that process. So we've also got some people in the real estate and, and mortgage and you know, those other people that, um, that deal with their you know, mutually held assets that have to be divided during this process. And so we wanna get everybody out there and introduce professionals to other amazing experienced professionals in the industry around the country and educate them about a holistic divorce process so that they can serve their families better so that their families can have a kinder and gentler landing through this process. I love it. I love it. And I want you to go ahead and say one more thing because we've got to wrap the show up. Yeah, and we could go on forever, but I, I want to, we'll touch more on this next week, Vicki, but I think what you just said is so important, how parental alienation affects every aspect. When you look at mental health issues, the drug issues we have in this country, uh, as you said, productivity, everything is intertwined uh, and, and leads back to these sort of things, these mental health things, these family issues. So we'll talk more about it next week. Thank you for coming on, uh, Vicki, and we're going to have to ever say, Custody Matters Live every Wednesday. All right. See you next week. 